ship my parts to the anodizer. I am northwest of Columbus, Ohio, and my anodizer is almost straight west of Columbus in Dayton, Ohio. So I gotta get my parts shipped over there. And the hard part is making sure they don't get chipped, dinged, scratched on the way there and make sure all the coating doesn't get scratched on our way back. So I gotta make a contraption to hold all these parts to get them shipped there safely. So I have this neat stuff, it's like this, it's layered, almost like Kaizen foam. If you know what Kaizen foam is, you can cut it out and like, if you wanted to put your tools in there or something, you could put tools in there and lay it perfectly in there. But sort of like Kaizen foam, only I'm gonna cut this up in specific sections and I'll probably end up cutting it in half and just make little places for my parts. Now let's talk a little bit about price. So I have 16 of each of these. So I have 16 of these and I have 16 of these pieces. The anodizer in Dayton is a pretty well known anodizer. So these are gonna get clear hard coat. So they're just gonna be natural hard coat, whatever you wanna call it. For the bigger ones, they are $1.80 a piece to get anodized. The smaller ones, they are $1.60 a piece to get anodized. So that's not too bad, however, there is a lot charge minimum. And do you want to know how much lot charge minimum is? It's $130 to get all these done and hard coat. Because that's the minimum that this place charges. And now I'm wondering, is it like that all over the place? I mean, I know these guys are pretty a pretty reputable company, but I mean, is that too much? I'm going to do it anyway, but leave some comments if you think I can do better than that. And I'm going to get more of this stock to make these shifter handles. And I'm going to get these red anodized, because that's what people want. And I'm going to charge a little bit more for the red anodized rather than the, the natural finish. But, of course, again, those are $2.35 a piece to get anodized red. But the lot charge minimum is $120. So I'm only going to have like 15 of those to get anodized red. So I mean, that's another, another $8 a piece to get those anodized red. Kind of annoying, but I want to do it anyway and just to see how it works out. I mean, I'll, I'll still make money on these once I sell all of them. So, I mean, it's not a terrible problem, but I wish I could do a little bit better than that. I don't know how that works out. I've never done it before. So leave some comments if you've had any anodizing problems before. Just as a side note before we end this video, I'm running I have my last four pieces of stock for the pistol grip shifter. Alright, and I put the Heimer back in there because I've always wanted to figure out why this gets a little lip right as I flip where the, the parting line where I flipped it over. Why does it get a little lip there? 
Well, I figured it out finally. So I have the in the y direction, forward and backward. I have the Heimer set at zero, perfectly where, it, right where it was when I zeroed the the jaws to begin with. And my zero point is that back corner right there on the fixed jaw itself. And look where my y is. Thirteen thousandths too high. So that means it's in the positive direction that way. So it means it's pushed too far back, which makes sense because this whole piece right here can sort of like bend that way as I tighten down the jaws. So I'm just going to go ahead and re-zero this thing and run the ball end mill to see, see what happens. So that's just a good little side note for anybody running Carver Smart soft jaws, these aluminum jaws. Make sure you account for the bending after you tighten things down because that's uh, I don't get you. <coughs> And it worked. There is barely anything. That's from the first operation there where it's got that little lip. But this one has barely anything. So that worked. And it's off because it's bending. Has to be. That's the only thing I can come up with. Turn it out, turned out fine though. I have two more, two more of these to run. We'll be good to go. And there you have it. Got those shipped off to the anodizer, doing a lot of work and trying to get all the, trying to use up the stock that I've had. Trying to use up the old stock from old shifter handles, just make them all and see if someone buys them. That's all there is to it. But the main thing is getting those shipped off to the anodizer and I should have those back by Tuesday, is what they said, but we'll see. And that'll be awesome. Have them back by Tuesday and shipped off by uh, Wednesday to the people that bought them. Thanks for watching.